The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart, that is, what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while, and when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the word and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Once a lady came to my office to share with me something about her daughter Janice. And among other things, she said, Father, my daughter can be a kneel, especially when it comes to work. And I think that Janice is not the only ill that we have. One time Jesus said to a young man, go sell all your possessions, give them to the poor, then come and follow me. And that young wealthy man, like an eel, has slipped away. Another time a Jew ended up as a victim of some thieves who gave him a really good beating. Then a priest and a Levite were passing by. They saw him, and like an eel, they slipped away. And once a sower went out to sow, some seeds fell on the path, others on rocky ground, where there was only a little soil, and others fell among the thorns. And none of, the, of these seeds bore fruit. All of them were destroyed. They were either eaten by the birds, or were scorched by the sun, or choked by thorns. Only the soil that fell on good ground yielded fruit. Dear friend, on the day of your baptism, a small seed was sown in your heart. It was a tiny seed because you were still very little. But then you started growing up. What happened to that seed? For some, the environment in which they grew up was too rough for them. It was unhealthy. And the seed got easily choked and died. For others, they grew up in a healthy environment but by the passing of time, some circumstances cropped up, so, such as too many concerns about the building of the house, about the business, about friends. And what happened? The seed got scourged and died. But now, my friend, you are once again face to face with the word of God. Otherwise, you won't be following this mass. And God's word is convicting you. Once again, it is inviting you to change your life. And what are you going to do about it? Are you going to be a kneel and slip away? God's word is telling you not to seek revenge of the one who wronged you. It's inviting you to go back to the sacrament of reconciliation, to go and ask for forgiveness from your spouse, and from your children, to give back what you have stolen, to help others, especially those who lack necessary things, 
to be faithful to your spouse, and to give more time to your family. It is the word of God that is speaking to you. Are you going to remain stubborn? Why are, why are you letting it once again get choked by the thorns that you have in your heart? My dear friend, do not be a kneel with the Lord. Because to slip away from his hands is the greatest disaster that can ever happen to you. Because when you think that you have found your freedom, in reality, you would have found your own destruction. Because you would become like an eel, writhing on the rocks, gasping for oxygen. Now let us stand and continue with our prayers. Jesus spoke of the importance of the word of God, and so we pray for the church that it may faithfully preach and teach the word of God. We pray to the Lord. For those who devote their lives to the study of scripture, that their labors may bear fruit, we pray to the Lord. For those who preach the gospel to people who do not want to hear it, that they may not lose heart, we pray to the Lord. For missionaries, especially those who are persecuted, that they may draw inspiration and courage from the word of God, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, having lived their lives in fidelity to the gospel, that their efforts may be rewarded in eternity, we pray to the Lord. God our Father, we believe that no prayer goes unanswered, and so we ask you to listen to these, our prayers, which we make through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God of love, may the sacrifice we offer in obedience to your command renew our resolution to be faithful to your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. In love you created man, in justice you condemned him, but in mercy you redeemed him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels and all the choirs of heaven worship in awe before your presence. May our voices be one with theirs as they sing with joy the hymn of your glory. Amen. 